Hello, it's me, Sean on Skates, and I'm back with another unboxing. This unboxing has been coming for a long time, but it didn't take too long. It's something I've been trying to avoid buying because I really just did not want to be a part of that crew. But you almost can't be a serious... I'm not going to say that. You can. But I felt like my collection wouldn't be complete until I had some. And it was tough to pick out which ones would fit me best. What? No, it's not. It wasn't tough. I knew exactly which ones would be best suited to my taste, to my style, to me. But of course, you know, in this pandemic era where getting skates was tough to do, I just didn't want to be, I don't want to say a fool. I feel like some people have been made a fool of, but um, I'm just nervous. But I did it. I did it. And I'll tell you how I did it, why I did it, and the fact that I did it the way I did makes me completely comfortable that I did it. But um, I guess I should just show you. I did it. I got them from the figure skating store. If any of you have seen them online and didn't believe that it was true, it's true and the reason why i know that it's true and in the things that they sell it's a real store because a lot of stores online nowadays you better be careful because they might not be real places i think i've dealt with a couple of them at least one or oh, i've researched and found out that a couple that i considered doing business with weren't legitimate so um this one is and the only reason i found out is because when i ordered my rydell skates the person, I ordered them off eBay, but the person apparently had got them from the figure skating store. So they sent them in the same box that it came from. They sent a coupon, so I knew it was a real thing. At that time, I looked on their site. They didn't have anything that I wanted, so I was like, well, whatever. And I considered throwing the coupon away. I thought I did, but luckily I hadn't because I went up there the other day and found something that people have been selling for $400. I've even seen up to $990 for this same pair that I'm getting ready to show you in the same size. Sold on eBay like two weeks ago, $990. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's not too many things that I want that bad so you already know now that I'm talking about the big money um what we have here why do I feel like such a sellout <laughs> oh, I got the moxie roller skates yes and I got them in the panther black suede now i'm big on leather i'm big on suede i'm big on black i'm big on panther so all of these things added up to yeah i need a pair of those and i really love my rydell wave so i knew if you didn't know rock moxie is fundamentally just a pair of rydell roller skates so they have these oh my goodness yes sir these things are, if I cut the light on, it's up top and it just light me way too much. So I'm using, um, let me scuff on the toes already. What in the world? Maybe that's just a suede thing because it's brushing off. Okay. All right, so I got the Moxie Roller Skates. I'm not a part of the Moxie crew. I just own a pair of Moxie roller skates. Oh, this is what they're looking like. They have these silver clasps. Lots of dust and stuff on them straight out the package. I don't know. Dang, these feel, they feel really um, firm. Like what I imagine the, what do you call those other ones? The beach bunnies feel like. So these are supposed to be a um, hybrid of the beach bunny and the lolly only because they have the suede outers but just based on the stiffness of the boot and it looks like I like these now they look rather narrow they look rather small. Hmm. Watch. 
try these out and see what it is. What it is. I got up here. I was hoping. No, I'm really funny about my um, panther or whatever leopard print stuff. Like for real, for real, this looks cool on the screen, but in real life, it's yellow and orange and just kind of a cheesy look. I think these would be better off, better off with a different lace. Hmm, that's interesting. You would think that I would really go for this. I thought I would really go for this, but now I see why people are selling their laces. Cause I, I think I'm gonna try to sell mine off too. Cause I'm not really in love with this lace. Let's see if I'm in love with the skate. So it has this thick tongue that has this foam padding right here. Um, they are padded really nice inside. Let's see what the what the um, insole is like. The insole seems pretty thick too. This is a size eight. Now the eight is supposed to fit a size nine foot. The eight is supposed to fit a size nine foot. And based on the measurements, it should. And my Rydell waves fit me just fine. But they are men's size 8. So they're cut a little bit wider than these. Alright. So it has a decent... Um, it's nothing to write home about. It has a little more padding. I mean, when I said little, like... Um, I'm gonna say a millimeter. This is a millimeter thicker than others. It's a smidge. It's very little, but it is noticeable. Smidge thicker than some of the other um, insoles that I have. But it's that Rydell construction. I'm telling you, Rydell does not play when it comes to construction. Anything wrong with these shoes is gonna be a function of design and not construction. These might grow on me, but they might not. I just feel like a different color would be better looking. Cause I don't, I don't like, if I'm wearing leopard print, I'm not wearing silver accents, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. I call myself Mac in the day, so I got on my leopard print pants and this doesn't match this at all. Um, <laughs> but I don't wear silver accents. I don't feel like leopard and silver go together. I feel like leopard and gold go together. Now that would have set these off. Like all the way off. I need to get this, this insole back in here so I can try these on. I don't know. I don't I don't think these are worth what they cost. Even I got them at a discount. If I had paid $990 for them, I'd be ready to hurt somebody. They definitely worth that kind of money. They don't fit at all. You know why they don't fit? <laughs> you know why I can't get the tongue back in? It's like most shoes. They're stuffed at the toe. They fit alright. They fit perfectly. They really do fit perfectly. They do fit perfectly. They don't match my pants. I'm so surprised that they're fitting good in terms of width. Because that's what I was most afraid of. Camera is making me look fat. I promise y'all I am not this fat. <laughs> I promise you. I'm like, 